Everybody say love. Love. Everybody say Lonnie love. Lonnie love. <laughs> This is your home, isn't it? This is my home, but congratulations to you. Well, thank you so much. We have <laughs> so much fun. I asked you backstage if you're in your own dressing room, because this is the studio yeah. where they shoot their show, mm -hmm. and you have your own dressing room. Yes. Did, is everything where you left it? Everything is there. I checked all the jewelry, everything. So you did good, OK? okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say to RuPaul, though, thank you so much, because you were one of the first people to support The Real when we first came on, and I'm just so happy to see you have your own show. You deserve it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, I saw your hiatus hair post. Yes, yes. For those that don't know, hiatus is when we take a break from the show. We're um, on a break, and so I decided to do a little something, and that's it right there. That's the hair. Yeah. And that's under here. And that hair grew out of your head. That's my hair. That's called um, our natural curl. I'm a 4C. You know, sisters know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a different grade of hair. But everybody, you know what? I think I was just so surprised, RuPaul, at how many people reacted to it. Because they always see me with a wig. Yeah. And then I just, I just was just, you know, because I'm still training my hair. You have to train it. Mm -hmm. um, you just can't just wash and go. And then um, I did that, and so many people reacted. Like, it was like, I, I think that they thought I was bald headed up under here. That's what I think. <laughs> and they said, like, so that really has hair. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. that's yeah. I was just um, I got a lot of support for it, and people want to see more of it. But I've I've got to train the hair in order yeah, to do but it. But wigs are so fun. They're so fun, so versatile. And you know, we're just in this climate, especially with black hair, that it gets very fragile under the light. Yeah. So you have to protect it. So I always use it as a protectant, you know, and that's what. That's that's what we tell them. Exactly. That's yeah. right. Our wigs are protecting us. That I think everybody. Everybody should have a wig. Everybody should wear a wig at one point in their life. Do you know how many you have? Oh, I have at least 75. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're starting, just starting out. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have a preference over a synthetic or, or um, humanoid? I, I call it humanoid. You Really? Why yeah. do you call it humanoid? Because I don't know if it came from a human or not. <laughs> you know. I do like the human hair because you can do more with it yeah. and it lasts a lot longer. It may cost you a little bit more, yeah. but it lasts a lot longer and it looks better. Yeah, this but is see, human hair, though. Th th you see, when I, I wear synthetic hair because, mm -hmm. you know, it's all done up in the dews, and if uh, something happens, if there's an earthquake, if there's a rain, <laughs> that wig will not move. <laughs> that wig will not move. And it stays in, you know, it stays in the style.